नमस्कार आप सभी का स्वागत है मैं हूं राहुल और आप देख रहे हैं पीएम ई विद्या चैनल्स और एनसीईआरटी का ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल हम लेकर हाजिर हैं अपना सहयोग सेशन जिसमें हम बात करते हैं खासकर हमारे एडोलिसेंट्स की मेंटल वेल बींग और मेंटल वेलनेस की सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इंप्रूविंग स्टडी स्किल्स अमंग स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स स्टडी और स्किल्स दो अलग अलग चीज़ें हम समझते हैं आमतौर पर लेकिन ये स्टडी स्किल्स क्या है इसके बारे में आज हम बेहतर तरीके से जानने का प्रयास करेंगे आप भी हमारे साथ इस सहयोग सेशन में जुड़ सकते हैं टेलीफोन नंबर का प्रयोग करें आप एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन और आप चाहें तो ईमेल भी कर सकते हैं कोई यदि जिज्ञासा कोई प्रश्न है कोई आ, सवाल ऐसा है जो आपको परेशान कर रहा है डू सेंड एस एन ई मेल ऑन सहयोग डॉट एन सी ई आर टी एट द रेट ऑफ सी आई ई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट इन दीज आर द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट विद अस रिगार्डिंग सहयोग uh we would like to uh, invite and uh, introduce dr sarjubala devi from our regional institute of education shillong ncert aaj hamari panelist hain dr sarjubala ji namaskar and a very warm welcome in the session uh chaliye aap ke sath ek aur hamari guest hain aap practicing counselor hain dr lopamudra saha uh dr saha namaskar and a very warm welcome in the session hi Uh, क्या आप लोगों को मेरी आवाज मिल रही है ओके लोपा मुद्रा जी नमस्कार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका सो वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट विद यू आई थिंक सरजुबाला मैडम है सम इशू विद द इंटरनेट और इज इट ओके ओके लोपा मुद्रा जी आपके साथ कैन यू हियर मी यस यस प्लीज प्लीज हेलो यस डॉक्टर देवी आई कैन हियर यू Okay. So can you hear uh, me now? Yeah, yeah. Now okay. it's so welcome. Different. So 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 welcome in this session. Earlier there were lots of breaks in the voice. That's why no. I could get mm. what is there. No problem. So welcome in this session, and would like to start with you uh, on this topic, uh, improving study skills uh, among school students. So what is study skills, and what is meant by improving the same? Uh, okay. like uh even though i didn't hear it very properly but the kind of question which would have come is like you know when we talk about skill skill is something that is acquired technique or the ability which one develop to respond to the kind of task over a period of time in a stipulated time in an effective manner when we talk about study skill then study skills refers to the ability or uh, ability or the skill to understand to remember to recall the information through which one acquire his or her knowledge so it is an approach which we apply to the learning to assess students to get success in the school system i am not talking about when i talk about the school system i am not talking about only getting marks but ability to apply the kind of knowledge in the real life situation also when we talk about developing study skill why it is important or why we should be talking about improving study skill is like whenever we came across students whenever we talk to students they keep on giving us a list of problems they start saying that we cannot focus properly we don't we are not able to concentrate we don't memorize whatever we have already written and you know the kind of content which has been given in the textbook is quite huge so we will not be able to cope with that is the reason why they are panicking during the time of examination when they became panicking during the time of examination even though we are talking a lot about these tracing the kind of exam but still exam is still there and performance till that we are measuring through how the student perform not only in exam but also in the co curricular activities so with the proper study skill it is it is assumed that the child will be able to cope with you know the challenges which the person is the child the student is facing and when we talk about study skill it is a conscious effort which takes time when we say that it is a conscious effort which is developed over a course of time and when it is developed it consciously in a course of time what happen is it has become a routinized activity which will be in turn turning into a habit when it is a habit then it has no problem now 
when we define when we define learning skill it consists of the ability to understand ability to comprehend what the person is hearing on what the person is reading from the lectures from the reading of the materials and this is not ending here the ability to segregate information which one is important which one is less important which one is supporting detail which one you have to give more attention that is something which the person is going to learn and also most importantly it is the ability to store and organize the knowledge the memory so that whenever it is necessary he or she will be bringing out and it may be in the form of the memory in the brain it may be in the form of the notes which he or she is going to revise which is going to use for the as and when required this is what we understand by the study skill and the importance uh, you know why we need to inculcate study skill is to the students is being explained by this Thank you very much, Dr. Devi, for describing study skills for us, for our students, for our dear no, learners. Yes, yes. Uh, we just have received uh, everything properly. Uh, your audio was fine. So let's move ahead uh, because study skills is very important, uh, important area for all the students, those who are connected with us and those who are not uh, in this session as well. So it is a holistic approach for everyone. So uh, let's connect with the. Uh, Counselor, Dr. Saha, uh, there is a role and there is a, a question arises for you that why it is considered important to improve the study skills for all the students? Yeah, actually learning study skills is quite important. Like it is, it doesn't only help the students hmm. uh, in their like studies in the further, in their further life also. It's very important because they carry forward this in, in throughout their life. It enables uh, one to perform well. It enhances the com uh, confidence, competence, and self-esteem of the students. It also reduces anxiety for the test and deadlines because they are already skilled how to cater with the like situation. Any situation they are handling, it have the they have inculcated the study skills within themselves. So they have become very much uh, like uh, they, uh, there is uh, less anxiety. We don't say that anxiety, uh, there is no anxiety, but the anxiety is less. They get, uh, uh, they are much more prepared for their exams then. They get like more time for other activities other than studies because study is not the sole thing for the students. Uh, they might, uh, they must be actually um, um, involved in sports and uh, sports or other some uh, community activities so they get time for this community activities too then um, and success uh, in your uh, in their studies requires a commitment punctuality sincerity as well as development of a positive attitude to the education and the teachers and the subject they study and um, the study skills are also transferable the students will uh, actually uh, take them with them beyond their education into new context for example uh, if they go for organizational skills then time management prioritizing learning how to analyze problem solving and self-discipline that is required to remain motivated study skills relate closely to the type of skills that employers look for and good study skills can increase the confidence competence and self-esteem of the students too by developing effective uh, studying skill the students may actually curtail down on the numbers of hours spent in studying, leaving other times, uh, living, uh, uh, as I have said, that they can have much more time for other things also. Good study skills also can improve their ability to learn and acquire knowledge. They can, um, the students will develop their own personal approach to study and learning in a way that meets their own individual needs because every student has their own individual needs. Some need more time for studying, some need less time, some is good in math, they are uh, like, uh, they are good in math, some, in good, some are good in humanity, some are good in science, mm -hmm. so they can uh, know their own, uh, uh, like what are the, their good things, what are, what are their positive things, their shortcomings, right. so likewise they can actually act. Okay, so as per their way, choice they and... They uh... develop into their studies and as a person, as a whole. Hmm. Okay, so we can say as per their choice and uh, interest, we can say this. So as per their choice and interest, we can say this that uh, we need to check, right? Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So let's move ahead. Uh, so so now we uh, know that uh, improvement uh, is there and uh, improvement is very much needed uh, for every student nowadays. So we need to propagate a uh, few things uh, positively among the students. So Dr. Devi, uh, there is a question arises for you. How can we inculcate uh, 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 study skills among all the students, all the stakeholders? Dr. Devi, can you hear me? Uh, I think Dr. Saha, you should uh, move ahead with this question. I think uh, she dropped due to uh, yeah, yeah, lack yeah. of bandwidth. Not, yeah, yeah. Actually, um, the, we say that we can have actually, we have basic, uh, five basic study skills. They are active listening, mm -hmm. reading comprehension and note taking, writing, stress management, time management, Test taking and memorization. Okay, now like uh, active listening, this is very important for anyone. Like we should listen whatever like our teachers are telling, whatever the parents are telling, whatever like whenever we are taking notes in the classroom. Active listening is very important. It's a very important part of uh, of any student. And for our council, for us the counselors, this is the most important thing actually. Mm -hmm. Now reading, comprehension, and note taking is very important. Sometimes we also pressurize the students, like we are saying you take a note of it, this will be helpful for your examination. And if they go through those notes also, these are very important. So it's very important to properly take notes in the classes whenever the teachers are um, telling. Because they, when they say anything, they actually take so many uh, information and in a comprehensive way they um, give the lectures. So it's very important to take, uh, take the notes properly. Then writing, uh, whatever they are reading, they should write write it. Then managing us, managing stress. This is very important. Like we feel very much um, anxious whenever we are going through any uh, like uh, uh, problems when we are uh, we, when we are having examination that time. So stress management is very important. Time management is very very uh, important hmm. time management during studying and time management during examination this is very uh, this is a very crucial thing uh, time to uh, uh, we should uh, the students should prepare study plans they should divide their uh, priorities daily works they should set deadlines they should establish fixed a uh, routine, routine uh, as I uh, fix reading hours, prepare early for everything, assess plans and uh, make it realistic. And breaks are also very important. Like you know, it's not just like studying, 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 and not doing any uh, like uh, not doing other active uh, activities. Uh, other than this, active participation in anything like uh, in. Uh, yeah. discussing the things uh, whatever is going on in the classes discussing with the teachers if they have doubt they should discuss they should reflect uh, uh, take chance to formulate questions uh, that what will happen after this so they should be always anxious about like uh, curious not uh, rather uh, curious I should say not anxious curious about like why this is happening why we should have always put questions to the teachers this will give them more insight Uh, this is all I uh, uh, all I can say, and they can also take uh, test of themselves. Mm -hmm. They can go for uh, like uh, nowadays to so online examinations. Also, they can uh, they can prepare uh, go for online examinations and test themselves that how good are they are performing, how are, how they are performing. Okay, so this is the way uh, we can inculcate such things among the students. So uh, let's move ahead, uh, Dr. Saha. One more question arises here for you uh, because we need to develop such things, the environment in the school and uh, you know among the students. So, how can the family members and you know uh, the school staff to uh, support to develop proper study skills uh, to the students? Okay, uh, the family, you know, they whenever like a child is born, they should uh, first environment the student uh, that particular child is actually exposed to is there family so it's very important whatever they learn family is a foremost uh, foremost um, what to say uh, institution from where they learn uh, from where they learn 
they start learning. So the, there is a lot of importance of the family actually. That uh, actually uh, in the case of your environment uh, that uh, encourages studying, this is very important. Many, we have all uh, always uh, like, uh, for this time we have seen that there are broken families, there are so family, so much family problems. So this actually what happens? This actually uh, uh, disturbs the child a lot. So it's very important that we create a home environment yeah, that is good. And we should express. Um, I think uh, there is some uh, disturbance uh, technically uh, from the guests end. So this is the uh, session which was going on uh, improving study skills among school students. Or just like uh, Dr. Saha ne bhi bataya ki uh, kis tarikhe se isko properly develop kiya ja sakta hai family ka yaha par sab se zada important role hai. Or jo uh, school staff hai unka bhi jo family members ke saath uh, ek tarah se connection hai wo bahut zada strong hona chahiye wahan par communication ka hona bahut zaruri hai. और जब कम्युनिकेशन होगा तो देर इज नो गैप ना ही स्टेक होल्डर्स जो कि स्टूडेंट्स हैं और जो कि पेरेंट्स हैं और स्कूल स्टाफ जो कि तमाम कोशिशें करता है कि किस प्रकार से हमारा जो एक ओवरऑल अप्रोच है जो कि स्टडी स्किल्स के डेवलपमेंट के लिए किया जाना चाहिए वो किस तरह से उसकी चुनौती को स्वीकार किया जा सकता है और आगे बढ़ा जा सकता है हम एक बार कोशिश करते हैं डॉक्टर देवी क्या आप हमारे साथ हैं जुड़ी हुई Dr. Devi, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay, so would you please uh, share your insights uh, if your connection is stable? We are discussing about uh, how can the family and the school support to develop proper study skills to students. Yeah. So, Lopa has talked about how to inculcate the kind of the five things which mm. require in mm. the study skill. Now I would like to elaborate on the not taking and not making because you know what we do, we uh, as even if she has mentioned about the listening, listening I just want to go from a different perspective, whatever communication which we are having, communication when we talk about the overall communication, 45% of any communication comes from listening. So the child, the student who is attending class should be actively listening and while listening there should be some sort of selective listening. The child should be able to predict what the teacher is most probably or likely to say about and his thought process should be in the line of the kind of topic which he or she is likely to hear. Then, as he has concentrated or he has understood the kind of given attention, so, so to say, given attention on the kind of learning, listening which is happening, what he or she need to do is he need to segregate the kind of information. Information segregation in the sense that the main detail, the main topics, main concerns that has to be set apart, then again, the associated details. He or she should be able to segregate the kind of information that is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Coming again to the reading practice, reading. You should have a reason for, uh, you should have a purpose for reading. It is not randomly you are reading page number one to page number 30, but you should have a well set purpose for reading. Today I'm going to read about electricity to answer to what kind of question. Right. With that set up in your mind, you start going. Then when you start reading, it is not like you may take notes of two kinds. Hmm. First one oh. is whatever you understand, understand serially in a synchronized manner. That right. is one way you can do. And in another corner, there may be certain points which you really don't understand, which the child really don't understand. And that needs clarification. That needs some sort of discussion with somebody. Like that would be in another corner as, the, as he or she has prepared a kind of notes in such a manner, the child, it, it is necessary or it is uh, ideal that the child should be able to rewrite or summarize the notes after 72, within 72 hours when the memory is still fresh. In that moment, right. what the child can do is if he or she is referring another material, hmm. he or she can start writing margin notes. Margin notes will explain what is little more detail or what is something new inside coming. That is very, very important. This strategy, if the child has adopted and used, 
both in reading and listening, then most of the part of the study will be done and notes. The kind of notes when we are writing notes, mm. even listening, that is very important. We student, as a student, when we were a child, what we tend to do is we try to write whatever the teacher says, and that is simply not possible. So what we normally have to do is what the child has to develop is the child has to develop some sort of technique of sort hand of ease or hard phone so that he can retranslate, translate, mm -hmm. retranslate. Mm -hmm. And to memorize what is important again when we talk about study, because the knowledge in the subject domain has to be acquired from the learning. So what he or she has to do is, you know, what uh, the kind of notes which he has brought, that has to be re-evaluated, re need to be reinstated, restated, rewritten, and it has to be used again. And of course, one cannot write a perfect note in a listening of a lecture or whatever. So what he or she is supposed to do or what he or she is supposed to maintain is a sort of revision. For that, you know, when you start writing your notes, don't cover the entire page. You leave spaces on the right side, spaces mm -hmm. on the left side, so that you can make connections, you can develop some sort of mind mapping with the kind of notes which you have developed. And notes should serve a purpose when you have a less time to memorize, to understand. That is what I just wanted to supplement. Right. So we can say, so we can say that uh, making notes and uh, proper writing uh, practice uh, can be a... Uh, can be a uh, fact, uh, factors of uh, study skills because nowadays we see uh, there is a lack of you know writing interest in the students so because I when I were in college uh, we had some uh, guest faculty from so, the National Daily uh, right so writing now, writing skills can be a part of this study skills of course it should be because mm. writing you know writing somehow you know when as you grow bigger mm -hmm. as you grow older you have to write a lot you have to write papers academic papers you have right. to write you have to write some critical essays mm -hmm. and for that writing also you know it's not only the not taking when you are just writing points mm. in an elaborate manner that right. also is a kind of writing and if you think that you should be developing writing skill mm. to the students uh, motivation of course motivation and self-interest that has to be there then when we are thinking about developing writing skill you know what we can mm. start doing in writing is in when you start reading something or when you thought of as i told before in terms of the reading that you should be thinking what you are looking for beforehand. Likewise, in writing also, you should be able to think, the students should be able to think what I am going to write. So the child can practice something like, you know, write anything, whatever comes in his or her mind. It is not necessary that you take a reference of the book and you may even close if you're using, if the student is using keypads, mm -hmm. he may even close it in a, manner that he just finished writing or so it uh, so a different screen like that and for writing the kind of writing that starts right now the child should not be reading it because once you started reading then the flows maybe grammatical flows information flows that creates a problem so right. for the initial writers you can start just write anything mm -hmm. and you know it you know in many times researchers also have found that you know those kind of writings are quite good because we are talking about critical skill we are talking about something creative something mm -hmm. beyond the way of looking into a different perspective that could be started and encouragement is something very very important and in the study skill whether you are talking about listening whether you are talking about planning whether you are talking about reading comprehension whatever what is important is motivation right. and uh -huh. motivation is very very important <laughs> We remain motivated and you so, and most importantly, one has to have trust in oneself. My, my self-esteem has to be, you know, uh, kept in high, uh, you know, intact. And Agreed. only then mm -hmm. it, that mm -hmm. your support and also, yes, as Lopa has talked about the parents and school system, if you are kept yourself or if you find yourself in a motivating environment, mm -hmm. you are always motivated and for learning. You should have a purpose. One should have a purpose. Why I'm studying? Why I want to do this? And when you have a purpose, your motivation will just remain. That is what I wanted to say here in this point of time. 
Right, agreed. Uh, and I, 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 and I think uh, we should request our students that they should understand how writing is important, and writing plays an important role in everyone's life because writing is everywhere around us in terms of newspapers, magazines, uh, research papers, and we have history which is well written, and uh, it वो एक दस्तावेज है हमारे पूरे जीवन भर की हमारी कमाई है हमारी पूंजी है. So this is all about the written material and the potential of writing so thank you very much uh, dr devi you have shared your thoughts and your um, uh, briefings uh, we have hardly one and a half minute for you would you please uh, conclude this session uh, and your message for the stakeholders of uh, stakeholders of this session so studying developing studying skills you know you have to organize your time mm -hmm. then you have to take risks you mm -hmm. have to have good study habit take rest break it into small pieces because your brain is pressured a lot when you read something so allow your brain to rest a while and also after you, what you require is you require to sleep properly so that your brain will be resting you eat little of, even if obesity the question of obesity is there you have to eat little bit of supplements little supplements in the sense that you know to energize to rejuvenate your brain your brain needs glucose glucose it will be coming in the form of other carbohydrates or whatever and then sleep properly eat properly take rest and all these three it should go in sync and planning when you have a plan you have to execute the plan and the first and foremost planning you know planning in planning is not when we talk about planning in study skill it is not necessarily only about your study it is about your curricular activities it is about you yourself being human being a member of the society that right. also is very important you should be giving time to your hobbies you should be giving time to others also because the world is constituted by not only you others are also there for them also you need to pay attention and that will motivate you that will keep you intact your self esteem and you will be happy about being you know to be happy about yourself is very very important right thank you very much uh, for sharing the wonderful meaning of organize with us and for all the, the dear uh, learners in this sahyog session thank you very much dr devi for your time and for taking this wonderful session uh, in uh, sahyog thank you very much for your time thank you and uh, we also uh, thank to dr saha for your time dr saha can you hear me yeah i can hear you thank you thank so much thank you very much for your time and for your and for the content which you have prepared for all the learners thank you very much thank you so our sahyog session comes to an end now uh, i request all of you to uh, rewatch it on uh, easily uh, on our uh, youtube channel of ncert it is available uh, for all the time thank you very much uh, now this session comes to an end and now uh, be with us keep watching uh, stay tuned pme vidya channels for all our live updates thank you very much keep watching namaskar